Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We just keep marching forward and talk about etymology and witchcraft in our government. And, um, well, let's just keep moving forward and see what we can see. Our next president that we have in line next is going to be Gerald R. Ford, President Ford. Uh, yeah, Gerald R. is Rudolph, Gerald R. Rudolph Ford, and uh, Gerald Ford had his vice president, was it, was it uh, Ford? I believe so. Ford's uh, vice president was Rockefeller. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that name before, Rockefeller. Uh, Rockefeller was a vice president at one time. Uh, vice President uh, Rockefeller under uh, Gerald R. Ford. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of etymology and see if there is witchcraft in our politics and in uh, the words that we use. We use words acting like we know what they mean, but it's possible that we're under a spell. Maybe. I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at Gerald R. Ford. We're going to mirror his name, correct? We're just going to mirror his name, and that would be D-R-O-F-R for Randolph, right? D-L-A- R-E-G. Correct? Now, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it could be read this way. I'm just saying it could be read this way. Yes. Uh, read backwards could be doctor of R&D, research and development. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, this could go a lot further but ford is doctor of doctor of rd and then the next part of that is l a r e g yeah lareg lareg let's go look and see what doctor of research and development research and development doesn't tell us anything about what it is researching and developing it could be tiddlywinks it could be the man on the moon it could be the slaves that the government wants to own and control i don't know i'm just saying that our president gerald r ford if you took his name and mirrored it like the witches like to do mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest one of all uh gerald ford doctor of research and development now let's go ahead and look at the rest of his name here l-a-r l-a-r and e-g we know e-g is the abbreviation of example So, Doctor of Research and Development, blank, example. Let's go look and see what, or if, there is even a word of L-A-R. Yes, let's go do that. We're going to take out our dictionary that cannot be Wikipedia. People cannot come on here a hundred times and change the definition of the word in a book that you have at your house the older the better the older the better uh let's see right here l a r l a r l a r president president ford's name l a r a totalitarian god or spirit 
of the ancient Romans associated with a peculiar locality as a field or the home, sometimes conceived as a be beneficent ancestral spirit or as the equivalent for the dead of the genius of the living. Wow. So, so, so if you took Gerald Ford's name and just mirrored it, I'm not saying that it is. But if you used the words like witches cast spells, spelling, and we know that the witches are in the White House and in our government. And we take our past president by the name of Gerald R. Ford and broke it down backwards. It could just, it just could. I'm not saying it does. It's just an example. It's just an example. His name could be read Doctor of Research and Development of Ancestral Spirit. Or as the equivalent of, or excuse me, or as the equivalent for the dead of the genius of the living. I'll repeat this whole law again. Doctor of Research and Development, law. Lars definition. A tutelary god or spirit of the ancient Romans associated with the peculiar locality as a field or the home, sometimes conceived as a beneficent ancestral spirit or as the equivalent for the dead of the genius of the living. I'm sure it is a complete coincidence. Don't you? I'm sure it is a complete coincidence that our president, Gerald Ford's name, talks about spirits from the Roman Empire. And our American government is based off of the Roman Empire. Empire. Do you feel like there might be a spiritual battle that's going on between politics and your soul? If you're not convinced yet, have no fear. Don't you worry. We will continue going down this path. Maybe go down every single one of these. I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. I've never seen this done before. I've seen many type of things like this. I've seen people dissect our presidents with a fine tooth comb many times by different things. I've never seen this. I'm just being led by the Holy Spirit discovering things that are quite amazing to me. Maybe to you as the listener also. I do not know. But if you do not see the coincidence yet, as I say, don't you worry. We're going to keep on researching and developing the exposure of witchcraft in America and politics. Yes? So again, I ask you, is Q biblical or is Q political? Q wants you to follow politics and so far, we have not been stumped by finding evilness within the names of every single president, starting from our current one, going back to Gerald Ford. Who's next on our list? Well, that would be Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. What a gentleman that guy was. Uh, he has quite a bunch of rumors about him, but we won't talk about that. We're just going to etymology his name next, and we will see what happens next. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless me. <laughs>